Okay, so tonight we have a special video that we're making. We have a new delivery that came today from Train World. You can see I've already cut the box open, but you get the usual Train World sales propaganda. And I already took some of the bubble wrap out, but here it comes out of the plastic from Broadway Limited. And Train World, thank you very much for quick shipping once it came in. This is the new Brass Hybrid Santa Fe number 3460 Blue Goose. So let's, uh, let's take a look at it. We'll put it on the programmer track and set the road number and test out the horn and whistle and all those good things. So there it is. The usual plastic sleeve and instead of the foam around the box we've got these cardboard fold-in pieces which actually has foam inside of them for protection and in a little slide out section at the bottom of the box is the manual there it is all the owner's manual Instructions for what does what on what CVs. So, but let's jump right to it. Let's get it out of this box. Oh, there's the funnel for the smoke. Let's see here. So you can see I've got the programming track and Dakota Pro and Sprog and JMRI all set up, ready to go. out the way. There's a couple little extra pieces. It's so new I haven't even looked to see where those go. More extra traction tires and wrench for changing them on the drivers. Let's tuck those out the way for now. And let's see, looks like it comes open this way. Got the little protective plastic on top and on the bottom. And look at that. This is the as delivered without the road number on the tender. So it's got the full shrouding on the locomotive and that is, wow, it's heavy too. Absolutely beautiful. Let's see if we can get this plastic off the bottom. Uh, it's two separate pieces. Got to remember that when we go to put it away. Unfortunately, I don't have a layout to run it on right now. So I see a little hole on the side here that might be what one of those uh, little extra pieces goes to, but there's one on this side too, so we'll have to investigate that a little bit. Let's hook it up, hook the two together. I really like the way Broadway Limited chips these these days in the long skinny box with them already connected so that once you run it, if you need to put it back in the box, you do not have to unplug the locomotive every time, which always makes me nervous. I always feel like one day I'm gonna pull all those wires out. Right, it's actually got crew members in the cab already. I need to put a little bit more. Okay. All right, here we go. Let me get this out of the way. All right, let's see. We're gonna identify the GMRI I'm using the Sprog. And then hopefully that will work. No roster entry found. All right, let's go. Ah, new locomotive. Let's try that. It's been a little while since I played with the Sprog. Read from Decoder. Broadway Limited. Okay, let's go with this one. In fact, I need to upgrade my uh, my JMR and Dakota Pro. It doesn't even list the Paragon 4 on here, so. Hopefully this will still work. Open the program, there we go. 
out. And let's see, new loco. So, pardon me while I reach over here. ATSF3460. We'll just call it Santa Fe. Or ease. 60 EL. My keys are hard to read in this light. All right, let's save the roster. And let's see. Let's just run it right there for now. Let's pull up the roster. There she is, and we'll come back in a moment and program it. Let's see where to go. Well, where did it go? Let's close it out and then reopen it. Let's see if it shows up. There it is, right there. Okay, let's try throttle. Let's give it a little juice. And let's see. F9 looks like it gives you the startup functions as normal per VLI. This is Paragon 4. Oh, there goes the smoke. Let's see. Bell. All right, let's see. Headlight. There's a headlight. We got headlight. You got running numbers. And we've got a light in the back, too. May have to uh, dig into that and turn that one off. Let's back up first. It's a bit loud. We may have to end up turning that down eventually. We're going to back it up. There we go. Seems like uh, with most of the newer BLI locomotives, it takes a, a rotation or two of the wheels before the chuff sound actually starts making noise. So let's go forward. There she goes. I still got that re back, up, that back light on, we have to fix that. So we're going to stop there for a minute. It's got the uh, keep alive in it. So you can hear that it ran again for a couple seconds after I turned the power off. We're going to go back into programming mode. And do basic long address. 3460. And set that up real quick. Let's see. And let's see. Let's find it again in here. There she is. Let's go back to the throttle and make sure it responds to 3460. It is. Okay, so in reverse, the backup light comes on, but the headlight goes out. But in forward, looks like they're both on. Oh, and the cab light's on, too. And when you start moving, the cab light goes off. All right, but overall, this is a beautiful piece of locomotive. I can't wait to get my layout built and have a place to run it 
or get to a, uh, a large layout where I can run this with my Super Chief passenger train. This is going to be a fun locomotive to run. Uh, there you go. Still got some power in it. So if you are interested in Santa Fe passengers in the late 30s, early 40s, this is going to be the locomotive to get. Uh, I highly suggest ordering it real soon because I've got a feeling they're probably going to sell out at BLI if they haven't already. I recommend you get one just as soon as possible. Got mine from Crane World. So hopefully they still have some in stock. Uh, that's it for tonight. Thanks for watching.